Hello, hello everyone, I am Andrew Dorney, also known as the 12th Gun here on YouTube. Today is some more Let's Play Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Previous episode, we uh, got, I think, I would count as the first act of Jedi Academy. And in this episode, we start the second act by uh, going to Hoth. And I just wanted to show that you can ride on the Tauntauns, which is really cool. And also, they're quite beefy. Never mind. <laughs> they are not quite beefy. In fact, they go down quite easily. Now we saw in the cinematic that we saw at the last, um, at the end of the last episode, that there are some lights that way. But I actually want to go this way. We can see there's a Tauntaun corpse here. Wait, hold on. Blood in my Star Wars? What? No, I'm just. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Uh, but we want. Uh huh. And what we want to do is this guy, he's uh, he's a bit of a pain. And so we want to hit him a few times with our sniper rifle. I honestly, I personally would call him like an optional boss. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but there are a few Wampas on Hoth that we can actually uh, try and fight. And uh, they actually will go down like that. Took us like almost all of our um, power cell ammo, but we did it. So that's pretty cool. And I, I remember the reason why I wanted to do this was not only to show off the Wampa early, but also da 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 secret area. Got ourselves some trip mines and a health pack in case he got hurt fighting the Wampa. But of course, we use cheese, uh, cheesing tactics here at the Twelfth Gun YouTube channel, and that is just what we do. All right, let's speed up so we get out of here. Oop, got caught. <laughs> All right, so let's get a move on. So we saw some lights over here. So this is the direction that we want to go. And let's turn off our our saber just to see if we can be a little stealthy. Uh, looks like nobody's home. All right. Bring it out just in case. Also, I like the little detail where it's... Yep. Also, it kind of makes sense why the Empire would still be on Hoth, because, like, the Rebels, like, never cleared out their, um, their computers. And so, like, the Imperials could at least learn something from the the rebel computers here on uh or here on hoth yeah here on hoth but also more specifically at echo base hello oh oh hold on hold on nope why are you <laughs> that's gonna be so terrifying just like being chased down oh where'd he go there were two ow <laughs> all right you know what you want to play that way fine we'll play that way you want to play? Let's play Jedi Academy. Get. Nope. Nope. There we go. And another turret for us to control. Why? Just because. It's fun. Also, I like how um, in Jedi Outcast, they were like these like very, almost like they were small turbo lasers kind of looking cannons i don't know how to describe them but like you sat down in them and in this game it's like it's just a bunch of e-webs which i mean it's kind of cool because i always felt like an e-web was cooler imo maybe that's just me i don't know what what is your favorite uh like weapon in star wars that's kind of an odd topic but it's don't the one i'm going you. i don't want to hurt you except i'm totally gonna hurt you there we go. We're just gonna unload with the assault rifle. Is it? Yeah, I guess E11 is a blast rifle, and it's used in assault. So I guess it would make for the modern definition of an assault rifle. And another secret area. Also, some more health packs. I guess they're really assuming that we're gonna get hurt, but not with these cheese stack cheese <laughs> cheese tactics. Yes, cheese statics. Uh there we go. Let's see. The DL44, E11, Disruptor, uh, Pulse Gun. Yeah, okay. I was, for a minute, I was like, why did I pick up the Pulse Gun? I know exactly why I picked up the Pulse Gun. There is a very specific reason why I got it. 
Get out of here! There we go, a droid! An Imperial probe droid. Get him, and then... There we go. The, the Pulse 2 gun is very effective on droids, and also um, can be quite effective on vehicles. Uh, and to some extent, force users, but like only the really weak ones, you get them with, um, actually I can show it right here. So as you saw, I used the, the primary fire, but there's an alt fire where you charge it up and it is like an AOE kind of thing. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, that time that was an accident. <laughs> I know we're on like a be completely evil, kill everything in our path kind of deal, but that time that was on accident. Like it fits with the the mission profile, but it was an accident. <laughs> All right, we got nope, none of that. All right, and in this area, there's actually an ATST somewhere. Oh, yep, there he is. There we go, perfect. So yeah, if you just get to that uh, E11 blast rifle, ATSC is no problem, which is kind of nice. Um, there is you can destroy these; they have a lot of health, but you can do it. And if you do destroy the uh, the E web, then it makes dealing with the ATSC a bit more of a pain, because the E web is kind of cheesing it, but also it's like it's there. So I don't know what else they expect us to do, but yeah. All right, so. This area I've actually gotten lost in quite a few times just because it's like a blizzard and you can't really see anything. Um, the best advice I have is follow the lights. In fact, the game basically says follow the lights, like in the opening moments of the level. So just uh, something to to let you guys know. Hi, there we go. Maybe it's the um, the setting, but I well, I don't know honestly. Because in Jedi Outcast, by the time we got the um, the pulse gun, there weren't uh, any pro droids. Hmm. Honey, I'm home! Wow, I got them all. Oh, okay. I never got them all on my first try. Holy crap. Uh, going down? Nope. <laughs> None of that. Oh. Get you... And call down the elevator again. I kind of like the the Hoff gear for the character models because it just looks really cool. I can't go into like a third, like a third third person. That didn't make any sense. But you know how like in some games like uh, Bethesda or um, or um, what's Skyrim or Follow? Gosh dang, I couldn't remember those two games. <laughs> two game series or Skyrim's not a series but it's a game whatever um I actually have some fun with them but um yeah it's just kind of interesting so here we are at the this is a control panel for the ion cannon so you can actually um you can see it firing I have no idea if it hits anything. That'd be kind of neat little touch if, like, there was a, a screen and it showed, like, Star Destroyers just falling uh, down onto the planet because it got hit by, like, a barrage of freaking ion cannon blasts. That'd be really interesting. Maybe it would have been too much for a game of this era. Who knows? I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a, uh, a game designer. Oh, I don't want to take that fall. Well, I guess there were health packs down there. But, eh, I'm not going to risk it. Um, even though I've, I've made one game for a game jam and I'm currently working on a few other games, <laughs> still wouldn't call myself a game designer. Uh, at least not in the sense of, like, giving critiques of being like this is how I would like design this area but honestly screw it you know if I was making a game where there was like you could mess with a cannon that fired into orbit like I would just add a little touch where it's like you know if there are ships there 
then like it would destroy whatever whatever ship is there. I don't know. Dang it, now I'm getting an idea for yet another freaking video game as if I need more projects in my life. Funny story actually, um the uh the other day my friend Gunner uh sent me a prompt. Just a random little like I guess technically a writing prompt, maybe not. Uh but the question was if you were a gym leader, what would your team theme be? And also, uh my headphones are too loud, they're blaring in my ear. Um what would your team theme be and what would your gimmick be? And so I came up with an idea where, like, I would be an 8th gym leader. I kind of feel like maybe I would be 8th gym leader material. Um, and I would have a team that's, like, it, it's focus or, like, it's gimmick or theme is, um, like, team synergy. Like, all the Pokemon work really well together. Um, and that would be the case. Like, that would be my full team of 6. And then all the trainers also have, like, 2 to 4 Pokemon that all work really well together. And then the gimmick is that, you know, each room is blocked off or locked with a terminal and you could either access the terminal and do a simulated battle and you wouldn't, by the way, that's always, keep following the beacons. <laughs> that's always just a lot of fun just getting in the E-Web and mowing down all the snow troopers. It's just, it's a, it's honestly, it was just. It's kind of mean, but also, I mean, like, they're Imperial, so, like, it's okay. Um, but anyways, so you could um, engage in a quote-unquote simulated battle, and um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't gain any XP for your Pokemon, but you would get a very rare item for, for your troubles. And so... The uh, the idea is, like, you do one of two things. You could either beat the trainers or you could beat the terminal, but maybe not both. And so that way it's like, you know, you either get XP or you get rare items, which could potentially help you with the fight or with the fight against the gym leader. And then as I was thinking more and more about that idea of like simulate battles that gave me an idea for a video game and so i told gunner my idea which was based off of the the whole terminal thing and he said god dang it the one thing that i didn't want to happen from this prom was giving you another stupid video game idea and i was like look it's gonna happen <laughs> all right let's just go on through here okay i thought for some reason i thought a cutscene was gonna happen so i just shut up for a minute there um oh jeez two of them went flying i don't know where the third one went oh he's right oh oh honey oh no <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a my B. <sighs> oh, good golly geez. Alright, well. Gotta keep going. There's an E web there. Uh just making sure I'm not missing out on anything. Uh no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh okay. Yep, let's go through door number oh hi. <laughs> yes, door number. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Jeez, this is just kind of mean. I mean, they are stormtroopers. Like, I would honestly say that regardless of the difficulty you're playing as, the this level in particular is not ow. Um, it's not ow. No, it's... um not really that hard like if you end up accidentally exploding e when uh, e web when you're right next to it like i just did or um the atst like 
Because I've, I've played through this game on various difficulties, and that's... Are you kidding me? I got squashed by a soldier. I've never had that happen before. Um, but yeah, so it's like, you know, regardless of your difficulty level, I feel like this mission is pretty easy, aside from, like, navigating through the whole place. Because, especially outside, outside's a freaking maze without the fun part of a maze. Um... And so I just, I feel like this, like, regardless of what difficulty level I was playing as, or what am what I am currently playing at, uh, this wouldn't be too terribly difficult. I would say maybe the items would be a bit harder to find, but I think that's about it. Droid, gone. <laughs> Look, it's technically stealthy if there's nobody left to report your presence. Uh, let's see, med kit, we don't need, I die, um, a door that doesn't open, correct, so all that's left to do is go in here, going up, and we got ourselves a checkpoint, um, <laughs> I guess if I have anything interesting to, to talk about regarding this game specifically, Getting this game to run at 1080p is quite a pain, and I'm using the Steam release um, currently. You can get this on Steam or GOG, or um, get it for Xbox and PlayStation 2. Um, I don't recommend the console versions, because they are like permanently 4x3. So like your your Xbox 360 or Xbox One will not upscale them. So I would just say if you if you don't like the four x three aspect ratio or clunky controls, then like go with a, a PC release, and then at that point it's just really up to you how you play it. Um, but getting to actually run the game at 1080p is quite the challenge, and it's because when you go and insert like you you go under the hood and you mess with the files to make it run at um 1080p you actually can't hit the big old play button on uh on steam because it loads a different um it activates a different uh exe file in the the root directory of the game and so what you have to do, or at least what I have to do, is go into the actual like folder and then create a shortcut for uh, the JASP.exe, which loads you into the single player uh, side of Jedi Academy. So it's a, it's a tad bit of a pain, but um, once you have it set up and everything's going, then honestly, it's like no big deal. <laughs> Who's there? Um, is there? No? Okay, it's just the wall. Okay. I couldn't tell because it was abnormally dark. Hello! Oh boy, a fourth. <laughs> Four more lives to add to my murder tally. Command center to Alora. Alora here. We've just finished downloading the data. The Rebels must have erased everything during the evacuation. Fortunately, the computer kept logging their flight information. And? And we found Rogue Leader's flight trajectory when he left Hoth. From it, we've been able to determine that Skywalker went to Dagobah. Dagobah? That sneaky little Jedi. Alright, sorry about that cut there. <clears throat> That's good. Um... My dad made uh, mochas. They're so good. We actually, my dad and I haven't had um, mocha. You know what? Let. Oh, jeez. Um, we haven't had mochas since. I want to say before I graduated high school. So it's been about like five years or so. And honestly, like, I'm just having a huge nostalgia blast right now. Hmm. That's so good. Uh, we're using a diet mix. 
So it's like... Oh, jeez. You're attacking a defenseless freaking Tauntaun. Why you gotta be so rude? Just, nope, 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 nope. There we go. Don't know how you got in the base, but okay. Uh, well, with that, let's get healed up. Let's get blaster ammo. I don't think this is gonna be too much of use, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Yes, Master, Dagobah. Skywalker didn't mention it in his journals. He must have been trying to protect something. Well done, my apprentice. Meet me there. Ah, you must be the saber-wielding troublemaker who neutralized our perimeter guard. Are the Jedi stretched so thin that Skywalker sends children to battle the disciples of Ragnos? <laughs> You cannot help. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just sends children immediately gets electrocuted. Oh, 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 no. I see what you want to do. Uh, 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 uh. You are a coward. Am I? Am I? Am I? Oop. Oh, hold on. That didn't work. Hold on. Am I? Oh, wow. <laughs> We'll meet again. Wealth. I can't wait. So they know about Dagobah. Master Yoda hid there, knowing his presence would be masked by the planet's strong dark side aura. If they find it... Did you find anything on Hoth? Nothing. They must have already taken the Force energy from there. Just as others have reported. Bespin, Endor, Coruscant, everywhere. Kyle, what about Biss? Rosh hasn't returned. He's long overdue and we haven't heard from him. I sense he's still alive. I'm going to Biss to look for him. I know some people that can get me into some of the outlying Imperial outposts. I'll see what I can find out. Very well. What about me? I want to help. Rosh is my friend. You can help by staying here and completing your training. Kyle's right. There are still missions for you to undertake. And we can't neglect the training of one of our most promising students. Promising? Yes. Due to your heroics on Hoth, we are promoting you to apprentice. Thank you, Master Skywalker. Master, uh... Kyle? And here, we can uh, unlock a new style. I always like going for the strong style, just because it's uh, it's real nice and it's real strong. Uh, strong style uses powerful strikes to battle three defenses. This style incorporates great uh, range and power, but often leaves the Jedi open for counterattack. It utilizes a powerful aggressive stance in which the Jedi holds the saber high and back ready to go into a heavy <laughs> swing. <laughs> it's like a bad dub. Um, represented by a red bar on the right side of the HUD. Excellent. And continue. Master Skywalker and Master Katan have left the Academy. I have been instructed to provide you with a set of possible missions. Thank you. So we have five more missions to do. Again, I will be completing all of them. We can go to Narkuta, Zonju 5, uh, Krill Door, Coruscant, and uh, Dosun. And out of all these, I think what we might do next episode is we're going to go to Coruscant. Thank you so much for watching. And in the next episode, we will be going to uh, Coruscant to be capturing a crime lord. And maybe we'll have time to do one more mission. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.